not everybody likes them, but they don't care. Up next, uh, we're going to be talking uh, a little bit about uh, Millwall, uh, and I'm delighted to say that Ted Robinson from No One Likes Us Talking show uh, joins us this afternoon. Good afternoon, Ted. Millwall uh, are in 12th at the moment, so slap bang in the middle of the championship table. Uh, how would you assess their start to the season? Nine points from their opening six games. Uh, what have you made of Millwall? Well, first of all, Kieran, I think uh, Lewis from Charlton wants to worry about November when they play us, but that's another story. Anyway, uh, no, listen, I, I think, again, from the start of the season, from the season we had last year, to, to get to where we have at this moment in time, I think Millwall fans will be quite happy. Uh, I know we're mid-table. We've missed a couple of games, like the last couple of games, where perhaps we should have won, uh, that we didn't win. But apart from the Fulham game, we've been competitive, more than competitive in some games, obviously. But uh, the Fulham game was a little bit of a disaster. But I think it actually uh, it sort of woke us up a little bit, a little reminder of what, the calibre of this division can be, and uh, it, it, but so far we're competing, and that's the main thing. And uh, I, I think we're going to give a lot of sides a lot of problems this season. What what were your your aims at the start of the season for you as a fan? What what were you looking for from this season? Was it uh, an entertaining watch, even if it only meant a mid table finish? Was it pushing towards the top six? Was it safety? What were your realistic and perhaps what were your optimistic aims for this this season? Well, anyone that knows me knows I'm optimistic. So I was looking for the, the, the championship title, to be quite honest. But in all sense of reality, after what happened last year, I think every Millwall fan will take ourselves being sort of mid-table or certainly at the bottom four, if you know what I mean. It, that has to be your starting point, doesn't it, Kieran? You know, you, and, and what goes on from there, uh, we hope and pray that it leads to something a bit more. I mean, Charlton have done fantastic and remarkable this year, but we've also got a... A, a new side as well and it's slowly fitting into place we're going to be a handful for people Matt Smith is the sort of guy that will cause everybody problems we, he suits us down at the ground I know there's a few Millwall fans that are not particularly overjoyed with our directness at times but the thing is when you've got someone like Matt Smith that, that can either come onto the pitch or he's there from the word go he's such an handful that he's going to give everybody problems and we know how to play that way to a guy like that so I, I think we are certainly capable of finishing mid-table, and who knows? I think we could even be touching near the players with a bit of luck. Let's talk about your manager, Neil Harris. I mean, he is Millwall yeah. through and through. 380 appearances on the field. He was then Millwall under-21s manager. Then caretaker has been in full charge for four years now. Can you ever imagine life at Millwall without Neil Harris as manager? Uh, I'm not sure that Neil can imagine life without Millwall in him, if you know what I mean. He's, he's, he is part of the fixture and fittings there, but what we need as a manager, and Neil certainly has got it, we need someone that understands our club. That's the most important thing. Neil's been a legend on the playing side of things, as we know, and I, I, I've had the pleasure of speaking to him on a few occasions, and he, he was always that sort of intelligent guy, even though, you know, out on the pitch, he, he played intelligently, let's put it that way as well, and he, he thinks about football, and Millwall's an ideal fit with Neil. I think he'd be the first to admit in his playing days when he left Millwall, he probably didn't have the best of times, but he came back to us and again he reached the heights that he did before. I think he's the perfect manager for Millwall. He's got the backroom staff that he wants, which is basically all ex-Millwall players as well. They fully understand the club. We've got a chairman that is more than willing to back Neil uh, any turn, if you know what I mean. And uh, I, I, I think, I, I cannot see Neil ever leaving Millwall Unless he wants to, let me put it that way. And I know there was talk about him with Huddersfield earlier in the week, but Neil, I don't think, will ever leave Millwall unless Neil Harris is ready. Uh, looking at some of the results that Mill have already had, one thing that's, that stands out for me are the number of draws that Mill have had. Is that a concern or is that actually maybe a positive sign that it's only a small difference that, that, that Mill will need to make that actually converting those into three points rather than losing a lot of games and that is a big, big obstacle to have to overcome? Um, well, I think the thing is, Kieran, that's the championship. You know, there is small, very small margins within games uh, within the championship. You know, you can come out of a, a, a match that you've watched and think to yourself, well, that could really have gone the other way, but we've won 1-0. You know, um, so it's going to be a tight old season. There'll be plenty of games like that. Um, I, I, I think we're used to that sort of football now. It's nice to go to a Millwall football match, think to yourself, 
we can win this game. You know, and every game in a championship, I genuinely believe we've got a chance of winning. Nobody likes to come to the den. We know that. And we always raise our game for the bigger boys that come down to the den. Um, away, we need to perhaps improve our form a little bit. But as you said, it's a, it's a fine margin in these games. And I, I think this season we're more, uh, we're, we're capable, the squad is more capable of better performances away from home. I think our home form will, will, will continue to be good. And I'm just hoping that we're going to pick up a few more results away from home. And who knows where that might lead. And just finally then, Ted, up next for Millwall on Saturday is an away trip up to Ewood Park and Blackburn Rovers. Uh, what do you make of that game? Are you confident going up there to get all three points? Uh, well, as I just said, you, Kieran, I'm, I'm always confident with Millwall. We've, we've certainly got the players that are capable of winning up there. Blackburn is a difficult place to go. We all know that. that every game's difficult, you know, and we've had a, a really... Our, our away games so far have been probably some of the most difficult in Fulham. West Brom away and, and Middlesbrough, but we've done pretty well in two of them games, certainly. Um, Blackburn, yeah, I, I, they struggled a little bit, but they seem to be picking up now. But I think it'd be another tight game, but I'm going for a 2 1 win for the Lions. There you go, you heard it here first. Ted, the optimistic Millwall fan, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon, Ted. That was Ted Robinson from No One Likes Us Talking Show. Um, Great hearing some optimism from a fan. There are far too many out there uh, that are either too down about things, but uh, an optimistic Millwall fan there. 9 till 10pm, with no one likes us talking. The Millwall Fan Show, all of your latest from the championship side, every Friday night on Love Sport, the station giving fans a voice.